Hello everyone. Welcome back to Forever Homemaker. My name is Charlene. Um, today I'm going to be doing a lot of prep work for tomorrow. Tomorrow my plan is to make um, a lot of burritos, breakfast burritos mainly, for the kids' upcoming school. Um, they go through them. <laughs> we go through them like crazy in this house. But um, yeah, so today I thought I would cook bacon. I'm going to cook some chicken. I actually just took out a whole chicken and I think I'm going to cook it in the slow cooker. It is it is already really hot in here. I don't know how hot it is, but I started cooking the bacon probably at 7 this morning because I knew it was supposed to be hot this week. So yeah, it's already cooking in here. So I'm going to try to get, I bought um, one of those really big boxes of bacon from Costco. So I took out one layer and I'm going to cook, which is is a lot, but I like to have it all ready in my freezer, but this time I probably will just put it in the fridge ready for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so I will share with you tomorrow what we are going to make for sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure one of them is going to be a chicken, bacon, and cheese burrito, which is my one of my son's um, favorite combination. And um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. I'm, I'm thinking about a rice and bean one. We haven't tried that one, but I pulled a few recipes. And then I'm thinking my, my normal um, with, oh yeah, I forgot to take, I gotta go back downstairs and get the hamburger out with the freezers. It's, I make it with um, hamburger and pork. But anyways, I'll share that details with you tomorrow. Okay, so we will, I'll bring you back. So I moved to the other side of the kitchen. I'm going to start getting the, the whole chicken in the slow cooker, but I wanted to show you that I took out the tortillas for tomorrow. I actually, um, so I have, I did, I'm going to do one batch of gluten-free. Um, so I got these from Costco. I got these really large ones from Costco. This one has 30 in it. And these are the, like I said, the large ones. And this one that's gluten free has only 12 in it, and they're only like a dollar or two difference. That's how much more expensive gluten free is from regular. But we can't leave him out. <laughs> so, and then I got a small, a pack of smalls, two packs of smalls, I guess. So that is good. I'm hoping to get as much done tomorrow as possible. So that's why I thought I would do a bunch of the prep work today. Plus, um, my mom is coming over today, so we always have like a mother-daughter day at least once a month. In camping season, it's once a month, but if it's just regular time of year, we try to get together twice uh, a month. So I don't know if you guys remember if you had seen my last, uh, one of my last large batch videos, but um, I had made, one thing I made was chili, so today I took out one of the chilies. So that's another great reason to have it ahead. All I did was take this out last night, let it defrost overnight, and now one less thing that I have to worry about today. So that will be going on the stove for um, for us to eat, and then there's plenty left over for probably a couple, a couple lunches through the week. So yeah, it is um, super hot, and excuse the mess, sorry, that will get taken care of, but that's that's real life. I I tend to work a little in cooking and then I stop and do some dishes in the midst of it. So this was like a last minute thought, oh, you know what? The lid isn't going to go on this one. Okay. Shoot, it's so hot in here. I was really hoping to use the slow cooker. I do have a really big one. I might end up pulling that one out. We'll see. But anyways, I'll think of that as I go. So for today, we're going to do, um, I think I was planning on doing three different um, burritos this morning, but I think I might just do two because I'm kind of on the tired side this morning. I was actually thinking about putting it off a day and I decided to still go for two because I did all the prep work yesterday for some of it. 
and um, so I think I'm going to make two of them today and I might just do the next one tomorrow. So one of the ones I'm going to do, it has rice in it. So I'm going to start with the rice. I'm going to use my Ninja. And for anyone who doesn't know what a Ninja is, it's, it's very similar to Instapot. So I am going to rice and oh that hurt um i'm just debating on how much i'm going to need i really have no idea how much to make for the burritos because i'm hoping to make a lot but if there's extra that's okay i'll find something to do with them what did i do maybe i'll make three cups of rice because i think i'm going to for dinner i'm going to need rice so if there's a little extra i'll just put it towards dinner as, as well Now I'm just going to use some broth. I have so many jars of broth. I've been making broth, broth, broth like crazy the last few months. I'm thinking without, without fibbing here that I have 40 to 50 jars downstairs. So I need to start using them up because I'm about to make some more probably tomorrow. So... Okay, so here's a question for you guys. Okay, there's a little. This is this one is the vegetable broth. Uh, how do you guys do your rice? How much more do you guys put in of liquid than rice? Because I always thought it was double if you're cooking it on the stove. And then when I cook it in, oh, there is a chunk in here. Oh, it's a... It's a potato peel. Guess I missed that. Um, but then when we go to cook them lately, they're so dry and clumpy. So I'm just wondering what what everyone else does. And I'm wondering why the change, because I used to make it really good. So I know I just measured that. I think that was four. I'm going to put extra, extra liquid in. Okay, we'll try to double the liquid in here and see see how that goes. Just put the lid on that. Okay, I'm gonna go start this in the ninja. Also going to start dinner right now as well. Um, I decided to just do something in the slow cooker today so I have five pieces of chicken in here. I've already rinsed them and prepped them. So this is called um, tomato basil chicken. So you add the one can of diced tomatoes with herbs. This recipe is new to me, by the way. I've not made it, but it just sounded so good. Uh, garlic. So I'm gonna use my frozen cubes that I have in the freezer. This is still from last year, so what would I need? I think I'll put two in. Just reminds me, I have my garlic from this year downstairs. I think I got them about two weeks ago. So I'll have to prepare those soon as well too. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this back in the freezer. Oh, I forgot the salt and pepper. So we have 
of salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. I forgot that too. Okay, so it calls for one teaspoon of this. And then basil. are going to take a little bit. Actually, I'll turn this on because it takes a little bit. I'll do six hours on the slow cooker, but it'll be done before that. So I'm just going to quickly mix that up. Then, oh wait, I think there was spaghetti sauce. One cup of tomato sauce. So I have a little leftover from the other day. I'm just going to dump all of it in there just to use it up. Because we're doing a little bit more than what it calls for. It calls for four. This recipe is for four chicken breasts and I have five. So Now we have to use um, a half a cup of evaporated milk. We have to mix um, two tablespoons of cornstarch with it. So just use this. Which I'm going to do maybe three quarters because I do have a little bit more more in there than the recipe calls for. Not exact measurements here, but I'm going to do a little extra cornstarch as well. Now we're just going to mix, pour this on top of this. Oops. Mix this around and then you're going to let it slow cook for three to five hours. dinner is taken care of. Push that out of the way. Okay, so I've got my plastic wrap here. I'm going to use the smaller tortillas for this first one. Um, so this first one at the request of uh, one of my sons who's extremely picky. Um, he wants just bacon, chicken, and cheese on it. I said, do you want any sauce of anything, right? You figure it's kind of dry. And he's like, nope, that's what I want. So I'm gonna make him some because he ran out probably a month ago. So I had cooked that whole chicken yesterday and then I cut it up. And so I will make as many as this chicken and I and I cooked a whole bunch of bacon too this is just one I got two big containers of it so I'm just gonna to make this quicker and easier I'm just going to put 
put this in here. I bought, I bought the, they come so clumped. I bought this one kind of grated cheese from Costco. It has no um, fillers in it, so they clump together, which I don't mind most of the time, but for some things it's, it's not the nicest, but that's all I have right now, so I will use it just to do this to make it a, hopefully a quicker process. So we're going to be wrapped so we don't want them too big in here. Like that maybe? I think that's good. So I think I'm just going to put two slices of bacon. Should I put the cheese first or chicken first? It's been a while since I made this one, so I can't remember how I did it. I'll just see if this is... Bring a napkin to wipe my fingers every time. Okay, so I am not the best um, oh, excuse me a minute. Now that that's cutting down on the noise, um, I am so not a very good burrito wrapper. Um, I don't know for the life of me. I've watched so many videos on on how to do it properly, and I'm just I don't know. I'm not very good at it, anyways. I do the best I can do, but I'm not very good at it. Actually, I I really miss my husband when he was laid off. Um, he would be the wrapper for some reason. He just had that technique down, not a problem. So I would do all the prep work and everything, put everything in its bowls and put it on the table and he would sit there and uh, wrap all of these for me for the freezer. So that was a great help. So I just got the rice out. This looks nice and moist, which is great, which is what I've been having a problem with lately, but that's perfect. So now I'm just gonna let this cool while we continue on making the other burritos.
add the spices. Okay, just trying to use up the garlic from last year. I'll do three of those. chili powder so I'm going off of a recipe but I'm not going to use like the amounts but I'm just going to use it for ingredient purposes just because I'm making way more than it calls for And then I'm going to add in cayenne pepper just because we do like a little spice, which you'll know if you watch our show, but just omit if you really don't like any spice. But I'm only going to put in about a half a teaspoon. Just, we like spice, but I don't want my mouth on fire. Okay, and now we're going to stir this up. And that garlic puck will... melt down with that as it cooks. And we'll let that saute for probably about five minutes or so. Just get a lid for that. So moving on to the next one, I think I showed you these quickly. So these are gluten-free, high protein, they're dairy-free and keto certified. Anyways, this I got at Costco. Um, these are so expensive, they're like $10 for 12, but I have no choice. I don't want my son to feel left out. So whenever you get these though, you have to warm them up on the stove first. So I just quickly um, turned on the stove to medium and I sprayed it. I'm not sure if I had to spray it or not because I'm just gonna give it another second. And you're only supposed to think 10 seconds per side. I should get a little towel to put it on. So I only just recently, um, actually that's not a safe idea, sure a plate first. There we go. And everything else is off. Um, okay, so I'll throw this in. I only recently started to make tortillas for my son, um, like buying them, so I'm still kind of new at this part, but um, I used to just buy him already made burritos at the store. And they used to be like $3.49, sometimes on sale for $2.99 here in Canada, Ontario. Um, but now they're like $5.99 each in some stores. And I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. So that's why I'm making it all at home because the prices are just gluten free. is just ridiculously expensive. So can see it ever so slightly starting to puff up. Okay, so the onion mixture is done and I've let it sit out for probably 
like 15 minutes because I don't want to put it on while it's hot because we are not eating them right now. So I just finished with the gluten-free. Just heating them for 10 seconds. I guess apparently that's what makes it easier for them to, uh, to be able to flip them like this. Okay, so even though I washed my counters and stuff, I decided to put down this silicone mat just so there's no cross-contamination for the gluten-free. So for anyone that actually doesn't know anything about gluten-free, um, there's, there's, um, there's allergies to wheat, and then there's celiac disease, there's Crohn's disease. I don't, actually don't know anything about Crohn's disease, but um, there's so many different things that people just can't be around wheat. Some just the slightest bit of crumb and they're sick for days. So um, my son has celiac disease. He actually, um, he was three when he got diagnosed. He, he was two when he was really, really sick, got um, hospitalized, got diagnosed with type one diabetes. He was really sick. And then a year later, they said because he has type 1, there's a certain percentage of type 1 diabetics that automatically get another autoimmune disorder of celiac disease. So we went in, he had to have an endoscopy, and um, he was found positive. So we were lucky because he got diagnosed um, so long before most people will have it for nine years, constant pain before they're diagnosed. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's a long story for you in case you're interested. So I'm going to I'm going to hopefully have enough to make some regular tortillas with this recipe, but I'm going to start with making him I what did I think there was 12 in here. So um, I'm going to mix. So it calls for one can of corn. So I drained the liquid and it says to cook this. If you wanted to eat this hot, you would um, have it on the stove and everything would be warm but I don't want it hot, so I'm just going to, I probably made way too much rice, but that's okay. Like I said, for dinner, we're gonna do rice, so I can just use it for that as well. Okay, let's just, uh, is that too much already? Let's just see. Okay, and then you have to put beans in it. I'm using black beans, this was my canned beans, so that's why it's in a colander, because I, um, I rinse them out. Maybe I'll just leave it like that and I'll see. Let's see what that looks like first. It smells really good. You can smell the cumin all through the house. Actually, that looks like a good that looks like a good amount there is actually there is quite a bit of extra onions floating around there no I think that's good we'll see what we can get out of this I'm gonna taste this actually just to see You can barely taste the flavors. Mm. I think it's just because I, I didn't make it according to this. I'm going to add a few more things. I can taste a spice, so I can taste the cayenne. I'm not going to add any more garlic. I think I'll add some chili powder. Uh, maybe that's all I'll add. Maybe a little salt, too. Yeah, I think that hotness is just right. Let me make sure. Sometimes I grab the cinnamon because it looks just like this. I'm going to open it from that side. And what did I say? Salt. It 
looks really good. All right, I'll get a fresh spoon. Better. I still think it needs a little bit more. Not much. I'm just getting a little kick of that. Okay, just a little. And salt, I think definitely more. So there's all of this plus you put cheese on. So it says if you're going to eat it hot, you would take a half a cup of this, put it on. Now, the regular burritos are bigger than this, but um, or tortillas, sorry. Um, and then you can put salsa. I don't know if I put salsa on this if I'm going to freeze it. It doesn't say. with if it's not frozen. I'm just wondering if that will be okay. Maybe I'll try just a little bit in there because I don't want to make it soggy or anything or would it make it soggy. Okay I've never done that so I think maybe I'll leave that part out and it can be added if somebody's using it. Okay. So we will try that again. And then sour cream. If you're going to eat it fresh, it calls for some sour cream. Mm. That's absolutely perfect. Really good. Okay, I'm just going to take a sip of my extremely cold coffee. Now it also called for green onions to top it with green onions. So, um, I think I'll cut some of those up first. Actually, you know what? I'll just use my, my little scissors. Much quicker. Okay. I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. I'm just going to test. Definitely a little different when it's a little, oh goodness, that should have been folded in better. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I definitely think this this one is going to be a hit with my family. It tastes it tastes pretty good. So these were a big hit. Um, my son with um, celiac really enjoyed these, and um, I end up making regular burritos with these as well um, they were easier to handle because the the tortillas were bigger so it made it easier to stuff and my husband absolutely loved these I brought it gave him one when he got home from work and he said they are awesome so definitely give it a try okay so I finished making 12 of the gluten-free ones and now I'm moving on um, my son and I just actually tested um, this and it, it tastes I like it he wanted um, 
like chunks of tomatoes in his and I didn't I didn't want that so I tried salsa on it and I prefer it without the salsa so it's definitely preference for sure these are so much easier to work with so I still have a ton of I still have some beans and some rice left over so um, I'm thinking I might make up another batch of this just to finish the rice and and beans because I like this and I know my son my oldest son and my husband wanted um, me to make some burritos with um, with the beans and rice so they will I'm pretty sure like this so if we have a bunch in the freezer they will not go to waste So I did end up making another batch of the bean uh, burritos and um, I did decide to go ahead and wait till the next day to make the third type of burritos and I think that was a very good choice for me that day. Okay, it's time to eat now. So I've got the rice done, <coughs> the chicken is done and it smells really good. So when um, I tested this earlier, it didn't have a lot of flavor. Like I, I added more, um, I added more of the basil and some salt to it. That helped a lot. And it's just like having tomato soup with heavy cream in it, and then. And then I thought just from that taste to add cheese to the top. So I added cheese, let it melt. And then this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm just gonna try a little bit and see. Just to make sure it didn't need anything else. So just have a little piece because it's still pretty hot. Smells good. Mm -hmm. That's actually really, really good. I think my family will like this. Mm. Mm -mm. Very good. So we're going to have that. And then we have some corn. I just wrapped them in cellophane and then put them in the microwave for a little bit. So if anyone wants those, we have those. So then we will see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the next morning and I am going to work on getting the last burrito ready. This is my standard um, breakfast burrito that I'm gonna make today and I have done a video on this one before. Um, so I'm just gonna do the basics of this with you. Um, so this is the spices I'm going to put in. First of all, I, um, I have the family size packs of two hamburgers and one pork in here. So I'm going to mix that with the spices, mix it all up, start cooking that while I start preparing everything else. So the spices we use in this one is chili powder, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic, oregano, um, we like spice, so we're adding cayenne, um, sage, and there's brown sugar, cumin. Uh, we've added some smoked paprika, but just a little bit, and we just found that took on a, a, a new flavor. So we've made this recipe multiple times, and we really enjoy it, but just sometimes we tweak it a little bit. So that's those are the ingredients that I'm going to put in now. And this is probably more like a triple batch of the original recipe. So I've, I kind of wrote down what the triple batch is.
then the other thing I'm going to add is a little bit of crushed red pepper. And I'll just double check. That's it for this. Okay. I am just going to mix this up and get it cooking. So I have, um, pardon me, I have um, the first batch of hamburger cooking. Um, I took out first thing this morning two bags of already chopped onions. Um, figured to save myself one step today. I'm going to chop up a green onion and two, or onion, pepper, and two red peppers. And then I'm going to break open, this is 30 eggs right here. I, I'm not sure. I might even do a little bit more. I'm really hoping to make a whole lot of these burritos so I don't have to worry about it for a while. And then I took out for dinner tonight just because I could feel it was a lower energy day. I went to the freezer and I took out um, one of the ham and potato bakes that we made um, in our last video. And so that will be dinner for tonight. So I am very happy. That's, that's a good reason to have those on hand. Plus this morning did not go the way I anticipated. <laughs> I was a much later start than I... I like to, but uh, my youngest son was in the mood to chit chat, so we must have spent a good hour just sitting on the couch talking about whatever he was interested in talking about, so that's more important than cooking. <laughs> I buy I bought them at Costco the um, what is it 15 dozen it comes in a box I think you can get small or medium I believe okay so I'm thinking I might even do just a little bit more but I'm gonna cut up cooked the eggs scrambled the onions and the peppers all fried up got them in this big huge bowl here all 
and they've cooled so I can start wrapping. I'm just putting some cheese in a bowl so it's easier to wrap. If you hear a noise in the background, I have, I'm pressure canning the uh, broth. I had started broth this morning and took care of that today too. So that's what the noise will be behind us. So I think I have so many tortillas. I think I'll start with the large ones. And oh, I can grab the plastic wrap as well. I taste tested this. Oh, it is so good. The spice is just right. in a package. Oh, and that is my yogurt being done. I made yogurt started last night. So I will be back take care of that too. another second busy day. <laughs> so this is everything that we accomplished yesterday and today. So I was canning broth behind me today and I pressure canned that while I was making the burritos. So that's all chicken broth. I did nine of those. These two with the plastic lids um, did not get canned. They're just going into the fridge. I was also at the same time while I was doing this, I was making um, yogurt in the ninja which is like um which is like an instapot kind of and um yeah so i did greek yogurt got three quarts of those so yesterday we did uh how many was that let me just double check here we got 11 oh no this is the gluten-free ones the gluten-free bean and ham we got 12 of missing one because he tried it yesterday and he said it was fantastic. Um, we got, this one here is the uh, bacon, chicken and cheese. We got 11 of those and he had a couple yesterday as well and he really liked those. And then we did the bean and ham which was yesterday. So these just came out of the freezer. Uh, we did 22 of these. 
I gave one to my husband yesterday and he said it was perfect. He absolutely loved it. So that's awesome. And then these are our regular breakfast burritos that we did today, which was with the hamburger and the eggs and the onions and stuff. And I ended up getting 40 of these. So I was very happy. Different sizes, some were the really big ones and some were a little smaller. A couple of these got eaten already today, but they, this, this was so good. Um, did a good job on that one. Um, so yeah, so what do we do? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 85 burritos. So for the freezer, that's fantastic. Plus yogurt and broth that we had going while we were making these, so that's fantastic. So I am beyond happy <laughs> with uh, this. I'm gonna need a day of rest for sure. <laughs> but anyways, um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. Take care.